Xiaomi's reputation has been decreasing since 2022, just three years after its golden age. It's hard to believe that just five years ago, this Chinese sensation was the talk of the town, renowned for its cutting-edge features at budget-friendly prices. The staggering 5 million views on its launch underscored the immense popularity of this sizzling smartphone series, known for its exceptional charging speed truly a tale of success. However, every story has its dark side, and in Xiaomi's case, it's particularly troubling. No matter how many quality features a smartphone boasts, if users can't feel secure while using it, it's time to consider alternatives. After all, privacy is paramount. This realization dawned on many after Xiaomi faced accusations of data leaks and other concerning issues, sparking widespread concern among users. But what unfolded next? Stay tuned to find out in this video. First, let's shift gears to this first accusation which was even posted on Forbes. So there's this research from Gabriel and Andrew in early 2020 that raised some eyebrows. They discovered that Xiaomi Redmi Note 8's browser was a bit nosy, collecting way more data than it should in incognito mode. I mean, incognito mode is supposed to keep things private, right? But Xiaomi missed that memo. Apparently, they were scooping up info on everything from opened folders to notification responses, which is kind of sketchy. And guess what? The same thing was happening with Redmi's 22. That's evidently a privacy breach. Now, let's get serious for a second. If the browser was hoarding data, where was it sending all that info? Normally, when companies send data, they encrypt it for security, but Xiaomi's encryption was a piece of cake to crack. It's like leaving the front door open for anyone to walk in and peek at your stuff. Not cool at all, but wait, it gets juicier. When confronted about the issue, Xiaomi denied everything, calling the claims misrepresentations of the facts. Classic move, isn't it? But Andrew wasn't having any of it. He took to Twitter to lay out the evidence, showing that Xiaomi's so-called fixes were just smoke and mirrors. Eventually, Xiaomi updated their browsers with a toggle for incognito mode, but it feels more like a band-aid than a real solution. I mean, why collect data in the first place if you're just gonna give people the option to turn it off? It's like they got caught with their hand in the cookie jar and tried to play it off like nothing happened, but hey, at least now we know to keep an eye on these companies and hold them accountable for our privacy, don't we? Now, on to the second unsettling revelation, which may initially appear mundane, but upon closer examination, will surely give you pause. Consider this a warning. You've likely heard the adage that if you're not paying for the product, you are the product. While this notion is commonly associated with ad-supported services like YouTube, it's less frequently attributed to the hardware business. However, Xiaomi defies this convention. Despite being a publicly listed company, Xiaomi asserts that it earns less than 5% profit from its hardware sales. It's a perplexing situation, isn't it? Xiaomi often emphasizes that it's not just a hardware company, it's an internet company that happens to sell hardware. This becomes clearer when you consider that their first product was Mayui, not a smartphone. Xiaomi's approach to Android is what sets it apart from other smartphone brands. They incorporate advertisements and service integrations throughout their products including the main UI to subsidize the cost of hardware and offer devices at incredibly low prices. But let's talk about the impact of personalized advertisements. They've turned the internet into a surveillance nightmare, haven't they? Being bombarded with ads for products we've just searched for or mentioned feels invasive, and some people have also complained about how much they're compromising for the cheap price. And it's not just about ads, it's about privacy. Consider this, every action we take is scrutinized, and our data is leveraged to inundate us with more ads, depleting our phone's battery and rendering certain parts of the internet nearly unnavigable. It's enough to send shivers down one's spine. Phones, in Xiaomi's case, are essentially carriers for their services business. They push a wide range of services to millions of users through their optimized algorithm, generating revenue through various means beyond just hardware sales. Xiaomi has found multiple ways to boost its bottom line, from upselling themes and wallpapers to innovative features like banking services via MePay. This strategy has paid off, with revenue from their internet services division growing by a staggering 85.5% in the third quarter of 2018, reaching 4.7 billion yuan, tilde dollar 700 million. However, it ultimately posed significant risks to our privacy. Hold on, the story doesn't end there. Brace yourself for this revelation. The Lithuanian National Cybersecurity Center, NCSC, recently embarked on a comprehensive security analysis of several leading smartphones. Their scrutiny targeted Huawei's P45 G, Xiaomi's Mi 10 T 5G, and OnePlus's 8 T 5G. Out of this trio, only the OnePlus 8 T 5G received a nod of approval. But as for the other two, let's just say they stirred up some serious concerns. Focusing on the Xiaomi Mi 10 T 5G, the NCSC uncovered some rather dubious practices within its software. For starters, the My Browser comes equipped with a Google Analytics module that quietly tracks your browsing and search history. And here's the kicker, it's enabled by default. What's more, 
there's a sensor data module surreptitiously gathering various statistics and transmitting them to Xiaomi's servers in Singapore. As if that weren't enough, your mobile number is being sent to these servers via encrypted SMS messages. Quite sneaky, isn't it? But wait, there's more. System apps are downloading a file from servers in Singapore containing records of different groups, using this list to block content containing undesirable keywords. Although the NCSC mentioned that the content filtering aspect is disabled for EU phones, the devices are still fetching that block list and could potentially revert to censorship. Talk about unsettling, right? So, if you're rocking a My 10T 5G, it might be wise to keep a close watch on what's happening behind the curtain, just to err on the side of caution, you know? So, it's evident that placing blind trust in smartphone manufacturers is ill-advised. And Xiaomi isn't the only brand facing scrutiny. Remember that OnePlus debacle back in 2015? Users discovered their devices were covertly logging data such as lock and unlock times, alongside sensitive information like phone numbers and app usage. Quite unsettling, isn't it? But here's the real shocker. No company is entirely without fault. They all have their hidden misdeeds. While Xiaomi may have more than its fair share of scandals, other manufacturers aren't exactly innocent bystanders either. Take Android, for example. ARS Technica dropped a bombshell when they reported that Android phones send a whopping 20 times more data to Google than iOS devices send to Apple. Talk about a data transfer frenzy, and get this. Researchers found out that even when your phone is sitting idle, it's still engaged in frequent communication with servers, averaging every 4.5 minutes. That's a lot of behind-the-scenes activity regardless of the phone brand. So, the takeaway? Don't take everything at face value, and always monitor your digital presence no matter what smartphone you've got in your pocket. It's wise not to simply accept smartphone companies' security assurances, particularly with budget-friendly options. Yet, there are measures you can implement to reduce data collection, even if only marginally. Steer clear of pre-installed apps on Chinese phones like Xiaomi. The bright side? If you're an Android user, you have the liberty to tailor your privacy and security preferences, regardless of the smartphone brand. Thus, if you're utilizing a Xiaomi device, here are some pointers to safeguard your privacy. To start, steer clear of default Xiaomi apps whenever possible. Be vigilant about app permissions in your Android settings. During device setup, ensure to opt out of any data collection right from the start. By following these straightforward steps, you can assert control over your privacy and experience peace of mind, even on a Xiaomi device. Over the past few years, users have been reporting all sorts of issues. GPS problems, overheating, poor battery life, you name it. Just take the Redmi Note 10 Pro and Redmi Note 10 Pro Max, for example. After updating to MIUI 13, users found their rear cameras crashing, showing nothing but a black screen. Also, when MIUI's official Twitter account asked for user feedback on issues with MIUI 144, users responded with various issues including problems with recent apps not working properly on the Xiaomi 11 Lite NE 5G and issues with the Messenger Bubble chat head. But it's not just those models, even Xiaomi's Poco phones have had their fair share of issues, faulty updates, motherboard problems, and rapid battery drain, to name a few. With all these problems, it's no wonder some users are saying goodbye to their Xiaomi devices. Tough times for Xiaomi users indeed. But if we look at some positives, Xiaomi's HyperOS is a game-changer, optimizing memory, graphics, and app performance for a faster, smoother experience. Plus, being based on Android 14, it incorporates all the latest innovations of the Android platform. Powered by Linux and Xiaomi's Vela system, HyperOS ensures seamless compatibility across devices, supporting over 200 processor platforms and 20 file systems. Despite its robust features, it's efficient, using only necessary resources and employing file compression techniques. HyperOS remains lightweight, utilizing only necessary resources and employing file deduplication and compression techniques to keep system firmware size to a minimal 8.75 GB. Security is a priority with the TE security system, safeguarding user data and monitoring connections for a secure experience. With the diverse community of over 20 million devices worldwide now upgraded to HyperOS, we're witnessing a potential resurgence in enthusiasm and praise. However, only time will reveal if this transformation will face similar setbacks. Meanwhile, staying updated on the latest tech news is crucial. Clicking the subscribe button ensures you're in the loop. Also, if you're curious about the fate of curved displays in the smartphone industry, check out our latest video and share your thoughts on future smartphone features. Until then, safeguard your privacy 